Welcome back to Verify Sounds. My name is Ray, and today we're going to show you how to export a Pro Tools session so you can send it off to your engineer to get it mixed. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. One way is going to be the stem export, and the other way is just going to be zipping up the file to just send it to them just because they might be using Pro Tools themselves. So let's get into it. So first things first, I'm going to go to Pro Tools, make sure that gets opened. Now that we got the session open, we're going to go ahead and show you the first method that's sending the whole Pro Tools session file. Nine times out of 10, your engineer may use Pro Tools. So this is the easiest way. You're gonna go up to the title up at the top, right click it and go to the enclosing folder. And the folder that has the PTX file, the audio files, bounce files, so on, that folder itself, you're gonna to wanna to compress it. So you're gonna right click and compress. Now that you have that zip file, you're gonna go ahead and just send that file itself to where it needs to go. You see here it's 81 megabytes, so you're definitely going to want to use a website like WeTransfer. So if you go to Safari, just go to WeTransfer.com. I'm going to do Command Tab, go back to that folder, and I'm going to just drag that zip file on in. Just go ahead and send this to myself and click Transfer. And that'll upload in no time. The second way to get this done is to actually stem export your song out. So you're going to send every track individually. Where there's the main vocals, the ad libs, the kick drum, the snare drum, and so on. So if you don't have the stems for the actual beat, you would just select the beat as well. But since I have the stems for this track, I'm going to hold shift as I select the top track and end off at the bottom track as well. I'm going to hold command so I can additionally add the vocal tracks one by one. And if there was some that was not lined up in the same order, I'll be able to hold command and keep on clicking. But since these tracks have nothing in it, I'm just gonna hold command again and click those two tracks. So now that we have our tracks that we want exported selected, we're gonna actually select the duration of all the tracks that we want. So each track is gonna to have to start at the same point. So we're gonna just hold shift and you see how our marker right here is already selecting a point. I'm gonna hold shift and kind of click to the left, have this type tool selected. If you don't see the type tool, you're gonna to come up here and Above these three squares, you're gonna click the rectangle outline up here and you're gonna get the multi-tool. So you're gonna hold shift and just click and drag to the left to the part where you see start one one. And on top of that, you're gonna also hold shift again and make sure you select the end point. So basically what I did was I selected the entire duration of each track and a little bit of headroom to leave off with. I just ended off somewhere on the grid so it just makes sense. And from there, you're just gonna right click one of these tracks and click bounce. This is gonna give you an option to have a prefix. So if you wanna do stem, you can. I don't really do MP3s, but you can if you want to, but I just prefer to keep it in wave. I keep all of these parameters the same. And where it says session folder, I will rename a folder and call it stems. So I'm just gonna have that get bounce. And it's pretty much going to bounce out each track how it is with the plugins that you have on it. And once that finishes up, you can double check to see if you already have everything done correctly. If you don't you want to double check to make sure that you did include all of the tracks that you wanted to bounce. I'm going to go up here and right click again, go to the enclosing folder. And now we see a folder that says stems. So in all actuality, you could send this whole folder compressed once again including the stems folder just in case the engineer uses Pro Tools or not. But if they don't, then you have a backup because now you have each individual piece to the song. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you like this type of content, I do it often. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and get notified by hitting that bell as well. And once again, my name is Ray from Verify Sounds. Thank you for watching another tutorial and I'll see you in the next video.